let's talk about artboards in illustrator generally uh, the illustrator is an infinite canvas where you can work anywhere in this okay you could see that it keeps expanding but uh, generally there is a specific area where your design will be done and placed in and that place is called artboard so artboard is where you design for your mobile applications or web interface or any design uh, which is for maybe print and publishing purpose and all that but generally your clients may expect more versions of it or more variations of it and that is where artboards come into picture so artboard is this white area okay so let's say you have designed something here of a specific color and then you want to make a different version of it so you need a different set of artboard here so how do you actually deal with this so you if you can go to windows and then search for artboards you get artboard panel here and what you need to do is select that artboard and then just click this button here to create another artboard which is basically a very similar i mean it's a precise copy of the same artboard but you got a second one okay and you can create as many as artboards you wanted to create okay if you can click this button here and then you can control the way this artboards are okay you have two rows or one row you can generally put that and then you get um one two three and then you got four five six seven eight nine it goes like that so just you need to say how many rows you want so one two three so if i put it to two rows there and then say okay then it becomes like that so you got two artboards and then the third one came here fourth fifth sixth and so on so the way it is arranged also can be controlled so uh, if you see the first layout arrangement is like first second third fourth and if i click the next one here first second third fourth if you click this, this one it generally goes side by side it doesn't go uh, there are no rows only side arrangement of that okay and then if i just click it again this time it goes uh, one below the other okay so you have a layout order which is basically as i was counting one two three four it's basically the reverse of it so i'll just keep it simple again and we have the spacing of 20 pixels which is the gap between one artboard to other artboard so if i increase that to 100 pixels then the canvas will have a bigger gap between each artboard here so artboards can be created as many as you wanted them to and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to um, draw a rectangle. Uh, I need on I need to pick only rectangles here. Okay, uh, a rectangle even if it is rotated slightly, it doesn't work. Okay, so you need to select a rectangle, and then you can go to Object, Artboards, and convert to Artboard. Let me just change the color of this. Uh, panel this rectangle and then try the artboard convert to artboard and it becomes an artboard and it's a fifth one here it's a different sized artboard okay and we have uh, rearrange all artboards which is the same window what we have got here on the uh, artboards panel uh, we have uh, fit to artwork bounds and fit to selected art options so what that actually does is let's say if you have created few shapes here okay and i have not selected anything here and i'm just directly choosing this option called fit to artwork bounds so these three are three artworks and then when i say fit to artwork bounds you could see that particular artboard has you know gone behind it and it's exactly touching the boundaries of this artwork let's say if you have selected any object here you can go to artboards and then say 
fit to selected art so there are one two three but i'm saying i want to apply only for this or maybe these two objects the selection is very important okay so you get a artboard for that particular selection and it precisely touches the boundaries okay and if i go to the artboard rearrange all artboards and then say okay so the artboards are rearranged here for better convenience so it is for a workflow generally when you wanted to create more versions and a big number of you know list of variations you have got and everything is in one canvas okay and you can put all the artboards in it and work on the artboards that's the whole idea of it